what is up my bitches welcome back to the channel now i asked on my instagram story what kind of videos you wanted to see on here and got a lot of votes for crochet content unsurprisingly so i thought it would be fun to do a little tier ranking of some of the things i've made and give you my honest opinions about them okay if you see me looking down it's because my laptop is down here but anyway at the top we have fat nut i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory these are the things that i'm obsessed with i want to keep for myself Next is Shein would steal this. We all know that anything with a modicum of originality will be ripped off by a fast fashion designer. Next, partial sleigh. It's a sleigh, nothing to write home about. You know, what's next? Boy, you're just my sneaky link. It has come to my attention that not everyone knows what a sneaky link is, in which case like half the things that come up on come. Basically, these are the items. I'll like wear them. I don't claim them. You know, I'm not gonna volunteer the fact that I crocheted it's it's fine and then at the bottom we have literally traumatizing <laughs> realistically everything i made has traumatized me in some way but these are the pieces that i just like don't want to talk about you know oh and i forgot to mention i do have tutorials for a lot of these projects so i will link them down below but for full transparency i don't do tutorials for other creators original designs for obvious reasons so first category is i think the most controversial crochet category and that is swimwear my two cents. If you use a thin enough yarn, it's kind of like a fabric. I wear mine for tanning, but I know people wear it in the water and it's fine. So like do whatever makes you happy. The first crochet bikini I made was inspired by this one that I saw on Kylie Jenner. It's actually by, it's Memorial Day, female, Asian run crochet brand. Definitely go follow her, love her. This is how mine turned out. And okay, you're gonna hear me say this a million times. The yarn was too thick. I have this thing where like, I know that the yarn I have on hand is too thick, but I don't want to go buy thinner yarn. But then when I finish it, I get really angsty about the fact that the yarn is too thick, even though it's my fault. Point is, other than that, um, it looks really fucking good. It fits me really well because, you know, I made it for my body. So I honestly would say fat nut, um, starting off strong. Okay, next bikini. <sighs> This one is just like a meme from beginning to end. Basically, I saw this bikini that Dua Peep wore. Actually, I need to preface the fact that I know her name is Dua Lipa. I thought like on TikTok, Gen Z, they like would know the Dua Peep meme. What do you think about Dua Peep? Dua, Dua Lipa. Let me tell you, I, I was wrong. But anyway, I wanted to make a more wearable version because the little circles are what make it so iconic, but I also didn't want to give away that much of my very minimal titty online. So I did normal cups. I, the colors were all, the yarn is too thick, whatever. This is how mine turned out. Uh, I hate it with a very burning passion and I was not going to post it, but I was like, whatever, I'll just post it. And obviously it is now one of my most viral posts today. So clearly I don't know what the fuck the people want. I do think it's kind of funny that I learned or figured out how to crochet a weed leaf. But needless to say, it's still going into <laughs> literally traumatizing. Okay, last bikini. I just want something cute and wearable. I finally used a thin yarn so you could actually wear it in water. Uh, I like the colorway, nothing groundbreaking. I'll just put it in partial sleigh. I like it. I just realized I totally forgot to mention, we're only doing spring summer items in this video so that it's not three hours long. So apologies to the Southern Hemisphere, but we can we can do like a winter edition, you know? Anyway, next category is tops, which is like gonna be a very large category. So buckle up, bitches. So to kick off this category, last summer I kept seeing this like wavy crochet motif all over TikTok. I'm gonna be honest, I look at the stitch and I think it's pretty obvious how you do it, but I've been told it's a very bitchy thing to say. So I did make a tutorial on how to do the stitch, so don't cancel me. But the first thing I made was this little strapless top for my friend Nadia, laces up in the back. It's flounder, okay? Let's just address that. Um, everyone on TikTok informed me as such and they are correct. And I love flounder and flounder's colorway, so it's fine. And then I made basically the exact same top for my other friend, Danielle, in a thinner yarn in black and white. For context, um, these are the friends that I always crash with when I'm in New York. So I pay my rent through crochet, whatever, you don't care. Point is, love how these turned out. I've been meaning to make one of the black and white ones for myself. So I'm, I'm gonna say fat nut, starting off really strong again. Okay, next up we have this butterfly top, 
which I should really sell because I never wear it. So I guess DM me on Instagram if you want it. But very cute. The thing is, I just followed a YouTube tutorial. It took like zero creative thought. I'll still put it in Shein would steal this solely because I think Shein would steal this. Okay, next top is another like celebrity inspired one. People kept DMing me this photo of Kylie Jenner wearing this diamond halter backless brown. I sound like a Shein product description right now. I'm just like spewing random words, whatever. You can see the top. And here's my version. Very simple. I guess I'm, I'm proud of myself for, I think, nailing the stitch and getting that texture. But I did end up taking apart the whole shirt to use the yarn for something else, which is a pretty good sign that I did not actually care for it that much. So I'm gonna put it <laughs> in sneaky link. It's not even sneaky link. The top doesn't exist anymore, but whatever. Okay, very excited about this next one. Last summer, I made this stretchy square top. It's inspired by my friend Libby Studio on Instagram, who you should definitely go follow. But this summer, I wanted to do the same sort of like design, but for long sleeves. And this is how it turned out. And I had like a God complex for like a full 20 minutes after I finished this. Okay, I'm obsessed with it. Do not ask to buy it because uh, it took fucking forever. But yeah, this is going into Fat Nut. Zero question. I feel like it's kind of gives that like apocalyptic fashion vibe that I love, you know? This next shirt, I honestly forgot I made. It's just a little like brown patchwork tank. I just needed to use up scrap yarn. And you know what? I do wear it, but I almost want to put it in literally traumatizing solely because it reminds me of those brown patchwork pants that had like a chokehold on Gen Z for like half of the pandemic. If you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I don't know, I do wear it. So I guess I'll just put it in sneaky link. This next top is like a spiral motif. I learned how to do it from another creator on TikTok. I'm gonna figure out how to layer with this piece. I keep telling myself I will and then I don't, but I'm gonna put it in, she would steal this. Really hope they don't though. I totally forgot I made this shirt. It was really just to prove a point because this top is a rectangle with strings. So I was trying to say, even if you literally have the most basic crochet skills, you can make clothes. And everyone was like, I still don't get it. Where do the strings go? And I was like, y'all are killing me right now. <clears throat> anyway, I actually have no clue where this shirt is. I'll put it in sneaky link because it didn't traumatize me, but I also like clearly don't care for it at all. Oh my goodness. You know what we haven't talked about? Granny squares. If you don't know what they are, they're like these little cute squares that you can make. Very fun to make, a fucking bitch to connect. Very love-hate relationship with them. But my first granny square project was last spring. That's how it turned out. Very cute, little ribbing. But here's the thing. A, I made this top during a like very genuinely dark time in my life. So when I look at it, I literally get like flashbacks, you know? And also th because it's my first time working with granny squares, I had to like undo and redo things more times than I can count. So like, I just hate this shirt. Never gonna wear it again. Let me know if you want it. So yeah, it's, it's going in literally traumatizing purely for personal reasons. We revisited the granny squares this spring. I saw this top, I think, from this series on my friend Gabby. And I was like, that's cute. I can make that. So I did as part of a collaboration with Michael's daddy. Um, here's how mine turned out. You can't tell me that I didn't fucking eat this up. I even got like a little triangle border on the bottom. But I'm going to put it in she and would steal this only because it's not totally my style. Like I haven't. This is another thing you should DM me about if you want, because I haven't worn it since I made it. It's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, here's the next top. This was like experimental because it was my first time working with mohair. If you don't know what mohair is, it's this like very thin yarn that makes this almost like translucent textile, but it's kind of a bitch to work with. So this was really just me trying to like manhandle the yarn. I don't know. I'll put it in partial slay because I do think it turned out all right, but it wasn't like, I don't really know if I won the Grace versus Mohair battle, to be quite honest. Now you're probably looking at this shirt and saying, that's just a thicker version of the last shirt. And you know what? You're correct. 
but I love the filet mesh stitch, which I use here. I just think the way it's styled over the button up in this image is a little bit traumatizing. I did style the shirt again, tucked into some wide leg pants, and then it was kind of a serve. So I'm gonna be generous to myself and put this in sneaky link, even though I don't love it. I just think it would look better on a shirtless man. And I am not a shirtless man. But if you are a shirtless man and you want this shirt, let me know. This is just an auction at this point. All right, we've reached the last top. We fucking made it, boys. And this is my most recent crochet project. It's a rainbow bolero shrug situation. Here's the thing. As a garment, I love it. I think styled correctly on the right person, it is so cute. But I don't think I styled it correctly, nor am I the right person, as you can tell from this like weird underboob moment. But I don't know. I might just put it in she and would steal this. All right, now it's time for my favorite category, which is like matching sets. I thought I'd made more matching sets in this, but I realized a lot of the sets I've made, I never like photographed or posted on Instagram and now I don't know where they are. So there's only two sets. It is what it is. First set is this one. Now like, this is fucking cute, come on. It's in this kind of fuzzy textile. It's like a three piece. And this was kind of a dark horse because I didn't like it that much when I was making it, but it just turned out so flattering. I feel like it'd be really cute for festivals because it's like, you know, you're showing off your body, but at night you will low key be pretty warm because this is the textile of like a soft blanket. <laughs> I also made it in this colorway um, as a custom order, and I think I like it even more. It's not my size though, which is why I look like I'm about to like bust out of it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna put this in fat nut. God, I'm being so, so kind to myself in this video. Look at me. Okay, now that we've reached the second and final set and the last item of this video, I'm realizing this is not a good way to end things. Let me just, okay, here's the set. Let me walk you through my thought process. Last year, maybe you remember, there was this like beginning boutique dress that every fucking influencer was wearing. And I saw it and I was like, that's kind of cute. What if I made like a two piece version of that? Cause I prefer to do two piece sets. It's just more versatile. And I was at my sister's place in Chicago and the only yarn I had was the yarn that you see here. It was also too thick, my favorite line. Let's just address the elephant in the room. It's it's giving Ronald McDonald, as everyone on TikTok um, did not fail to inform me. It's not my favorite, but I think in a different color, it could be very cute. And I think the skills that I teach in the tutorial are very useful, but it's still going and <laughs> literally traumatizing because I refuse to talk about this. It also just took so long and there we go, boys. That's the final tier ranking. I'm pretty proud of myself for not just putting everything in literally traumatizing, which is what I would have liked to do. I definitely still kind of downward spiraled throughout this video, but um, that's to be expected. I also was going to do hats. This video is getting too long. Hats are going in the fall winter version. As I mentioned, all available tutorials will be linked down below. Feel free to DM me on Instagram if you want to buy any of the many things I mentioned I need to sell. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what else you want to see on this channel because right now I'm just kind of like pulling shit out of my ass. But I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Alphonse, can you please, can you please stop knocking over my tripod? I'm trying to become, I'm trying to become famous!